Hey guys, Drew back here for Z Code System, and today we're going to talk about the upcoming quarterfinal matchups in the Women's World Cup. So I hope you're excited about those because I am. And if you're looking at the screen right now here on the video, we have a new blog for the upcoming Premier League match day one fixtures. And I've got the picks there. And if you watch the video here on YouTube, you'll be able to get all of the picks for the games as I talk through all those matches courtesy of the Soccer Buddy tool. Now, we're going to talk about the Women's World Cup, though, which gets back on the way or uh, gets back uh, playing on Friday and Saturday for the quarterfinal matches. Eight teams left. As we all know, the United States were eliminated. They were knocked out of the tournament by Sweden. So the tournament is a bit wide open, and there are seven potential teams, seven of the eight teams, who could win a first-ever World Cup. So let's look right now at the odds going into this. And if you look here, I've got the Golden Boot Award odds. Uh, Golden Boot is the top score award. So you can check those out at your favorite online sports book. But I just had those open here on William Hill, which I was using for the latest odds for the World Cup. But I'm going to get out of that and I'm going to go to the matches here are the four matches for the quarterfinals and you can see spain take on the netherlands spain are heavy favorites going into this game japan will take on sweden japan the only team left in the world cup who has previously won the women's world cup they are slight favorites over sweden at plus 125 australia playing on home soil they will be taking on france and brisbane uh, france go into this game as the favorite the french have only reached the semifinals once ever in the Women's World Cup history. Australia have never made it to the semifinals. And then we've got England, who are heavy favorites against Colombia on Saturday afternoon. They go into that game at minus 225. Colombia have the longest odds to win the tournament of any of the teams left in the competition. We'll look at those odds in just a second. England are playing well, but maybe not scoring as many goals as fans would have hoped for. But the English the Lionesses are the favorite going into this game and the favorite to win the World Cup. And of the uh, four quarterfinal matches, as you can see by the odds, England have the easiest route to the semifinals. Now, looking at the outright winner odds, and we can go whoop, we can go to that um, right here, uh, we can see that England are the favorites to win the tournament. They replaced the U.S. after the U.S. were knocked out. England plus 225. Spain have been hanging around in this position, the second best odds position the entire tournament. I think Spain personally are a little bit overhyped, overrated, and uh, they, they've played and won by big score lines three of their four matches. But I would argue that those three matches came against lesser, weaker competition. Uh, we saw that when they played against Japan, the uh, team... Uh, a very strong team. Uh, Spain lost 4-0. So Japan, our third favorites right now at plus 450. I think they're being a, a little hard done by right now by sports books. I think Japan may be a little bit better than that. France plus 500. Australia plus 800. Sweden plus 1,000. And the Netherlands plus 1,200. Now, I have to say, I think the Netherlands are flying under the radar. I wrote about that in the recent blog. And uh, I think the Netherlands could shock a few people the netherlands reached the semi excuse me the netherlands were runners up at the 2019 women's world cup and in 2017 they won the uh, uefa european championship so i think the netherlands are flying under the radar and they could be a team that will surprise quite a few people now this is going to be an exciting weekend of women's soccer action so i definitely think you're going to want to watch that and of course you're going to want to get your bets in for those games as they kick off on friday so get in on that. And uh, right now, if we go back to those fixtures, these game fixtures, just to give you my quick picks, I actually think the Netherlands can upset Spain. I think that they can win this game. Uh, it may take extra time. It may take penalties, but I think the Netherlands can come out on top. I know, yes, that Spain have won the last four meetings between these teams, but I think the Netherlands can come out on top. Japan, Sweden, this is a very difficult game to call. These two teams are both playing very well and uh, two very strong teams. I wouldn't be surprised if this ended at 90 minutes with a draw. Australia and France, again, I think Australia can give France a game, but I think the French are playing just too good right now, and they'll pick up a win here at full time. 
and then going on to England and Colombia. Although England struggled against Nigeria and only won on penalties after a nil-nil draw at 90 minutes, or 120 minutes, I should say, I think the England team, the Lionesses, will come through with a victory around 2-0 against Colombia. I think Colombia, the Cinderella team right now left in the tournament, I think that glass slipper is going to break on Saturday. All right, guys, that's going to do it for me here on Zico System. Guys, be sure to subscribe to the channel and like this video. Stay up to date on everything we do here at Zico System. And uh, we'll be back when the semifinals are ready to kick off at the Women's World Cup. Take it easy, guys. We'll see you soon. Bye-bye.